So pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in the community for all ages. You put that together with a group that's trying to give back to the community, you make a tournament, and it's going to be a great weekend for all. Started way back in 1965. Uh, Bainbridge Island off the, off the coast, off the west coast, over there by Seattle. And uh, there were a, a couple of individuals that seemed to be bored, uh, wanted to come up with a different kind of activity for the folks that were there, for their family members. They had an old badminton court there, and they decided, okay, well, the, the, let's use it. And they started using like ping pong um, paddles in a way, and also like a wiffle ball. I'll take it from here, George. Think of pickleball as ping pong on a miniaturized tennis court. The game is usually played in doubles, though single matches pop off as well. FYI, the rules kept being added as we were playing. Keep changing the rules. Are you seeing this? Some Canadian rules up in here. I kid, I kid. I was learning the rules, and I do love Canadians, by the way. Continue. Very similar to tennis. Did you have to you have to serve uh, from the baseline? You serve cross court. You serve into the service area. There is a two bounce rule that's that's really important. When you serve, the returning team has to let it bounce once before they they hit it, and then it, it's returned, and the serving team has to let it bounce once. There are some more intricate rules, like no volleys in the kitchen, the gray area nearest the net, being one of the most important. Moving on. The name of the sport allegedly comes from that initial group having a dog who kept stealing the ball. Its name, Pickles. Unconfirmed, George, along with nine acquaintances, were randomly introduced to the sport in 2013. Since then, there's, there's a, a ton of people that are playing now. We have leagues, we have different leagues at different levels. We have uh, different tournaments, and um, you come any week, weekday morning out here and all eight courts can be full. George mentioned tournaments, which is the main reason we're sweating today. Bob Salgado talks about the first annual pickleball tournament, which will be a featured event in Sir Thomas fundraising calendar. This is gonna be on a pretty big scale for, this, for us doing it for the first time. We expect to have about 100 uh, players it's going to be a round robin tournament, um, and we're going to have three divisions on each side, the men's and the women's side, under 30, 30 to 60, and over 60. Oh, who is Sertoma? Sertoma is short for Service to Mankind. We are a nonprofit 5013C uh, club here in St. Augustine. We're actually an international uh club and everything that we raise everything that we do stays within this county so when we say that we're here for our community we literally are here for our community sertoma is unique in the way they support the community the cause simply is to help those that are less fortunate a lot of times people um, fall through the cracks as they say in the system they don't check all the boxes so they're not able to get the, uh, the help or the funding that they need, um, that's where we come in. We build wheelchair ramps, we do home repairs, we help people with their, you know, get their medicines that they need. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. So the first annual Sertoma Pickleball Tournament serves up next Saturday, June 4th, starting at 9 a.m. The tournament is open to all skill levels. You heard the age brackets, but anybody can go out. And if you would like to find out more about Sertoma and register for the tournament, just go to staugustinesertoma.org.